All right, hey guys, so you're all here to watch a setup of a Excel server. Uh, this is a dedicated server for you and your friends at home, um, so they can join. A few things you're gonna need. You're gonna need to download the, um, I'll put links in the description for all of this, but um, you need to go to the exilemod.com um, and download the 1.04 pineapple. Uh, you want the client and then you want to download the server um, you're also going to need a couple more things you're going to need notepad plus plus examp steam cmd which is not far from the top there's the top of the page and it's the first link and you're also going to need pbo manager which you don't really need that yet but we'll install that anyway just for um, something for in the future and that's it I think yep right um I have obviously downloaded all these already um I've unpacked them all as well and yeah this is what you're left with right so if you're gonna um, put the um, server onto your computer um I normally put it in my C drive and then do a file in here I've already made a file I'm just gonna drag and drop it straight in um, I've called it my um, armor free exile server test um, you can call this whatever you want it doesn't really make a difference what you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop um, steam cmd straight in we're going to double click on this we're going to let it do, do its thing and just wait for it to do yep it's okay right you're now going to log in with your um, credentials from steam um, so you're going to type login oh, caps on uh, login then space and then whatever your cr credentials are so Joe blogs or I don't know Forrest Gump and then you're gonna put a space and then your p um, password so I don't know Forrest and then one two three four and um, that's how it'll look <coughs> obviously these aren't my credentials so don't go copying that you put yours in there um, for which reason I'm gonna pause the video and come back to you in a second when it's logged in okay and we're back Um, obviously mine asked me for my Ste steam guard um, key so I've had to just um, black that out a bit so and obviously everybody can't see what's in there and my passwords right the next thing you're gonna type app underscore update and then space 233780 then you want to um, take your caps off and right, validate this is going to start doing its thing getting its files for armor and putting them in your um, folder for you right, I'm going to let this do and then I'll get back to you in a second when it's done Okay, so that's all done. So it might take a couple of minutes. Uh, once you're done with that, you can just exit out of that. Right, that's done. So now you want to come over here. We'll put these side by side. You want to come over here, go to Steam Apps, Common, Armor Server. And this is your server right here. But this is just basic, there's nothing on it yet. So, But what you're going to do is come over here you're gonna drag and drop exile straight into here and it'll go up the top leave it there you're gonna open up this which was from out of your exile server you're gonna put your exile server straight in uh, computer mission yep then you're gonna go into here you're going to cut, paste into the mission folder, and then that's that part done. In fact, uh, just fuck's sake. Uh, you're going to copy and paste, uh, sorry, not copy and paste, you just literally drag. 
drag and drop all of this into here uh, copy and uh, replace everything that's there right that's that part done uh, you want to open up to das you want to put to das straight into there uh, just leave that for now okay so next you want to come into uh, this file here uh, which is um, extdb config uh, you want to open this with notepad plus plus which you should have already installed um, open it up oh, hold on I've got it on a different screen right you want to open it with notepad plus plus and it's going to look like this um, you want to scroll down until you get to where it says exile um, here where it says change me you want to change this to root then come up the top save exit and then leave that alone um, next you want to install xamp um, which I've already got installed which is right here um, once this is installed it will look like this um, press start and then you can exit out of that um, whenever you do load up your server you will have to um, click start unless you um, put a, a, a shortcut into your startup parameters um, of Windows which is what I did and then obviously it starts every time a computer starts <coughs> excuse me right exit out of that right um, the next thing you need to do is download Navicat um, for MySQL. Um, this is for your database, um, which I already have installed. Um, once you inst um, install it, it will look like this or similar. Uh, you want to go to Connections, MySQL, call this Exile. Uh, the rest of it just leave because everything's root, uh, local host, and there's your port number. Um, press OK. You want to double click on this. This will only go green if you've got Examp switched on. If you haven't got Examp switched on, this will come up saying not connected or something like that, um, and it won't go green. Um, the next thing you want to do is, hi uh, when, when you go on here, click on the top and click on Execute um, SQL file. It will bring up this. Um, click on the little side by, um, side thing there, and if I go to my desktop, um, in the folder that uh, where are you tonight? There we go. Right. Um, in the folder that obviously we have over here, we have um, MySQL. Um, so you're going to click on that and this is your how it's going to set up your database so you're going to click OK you're going to click start and that there is your database set up uh, click on it click refresh and there is your database um, click in your tables you've got your cars uh, territories players place history um, construction everything that's how that's that's where your all your stuff's going to be so if you double click on it obviously if you go into your server um, your names and stuff will be in here and whatever else but we'll come back to this a bit later on about how you change other things in there as well so well exit out of that um, I think that is pretty much it for that uh, yeah we didn't need PBO manager so you'll probably be alright without that um, right next thing you need to do is come to Tadast open it We'll call the server test. Um, you can change all like your max players and stuff. Um, it's not a problem. Come down to this box here. We're going to click it. This will go straight into your server. Um, you can see here, uh, Exile Free Server um, Test. You're going to come down to the bottom. Don't click on 64 because I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. But um, uh, click on the normal exe open and then it will have your command line there ready for you 
um, the next thing you need to do is go over to your missions um, you're going to click on um, a map which you want to run so if you've got Apex you can run Tanoa uh, Molden and uh, ne Nebraska or whatever it's called um, you, you have to have mods for these uh, well pretty sure this one um, but anyway we're going to run Altus so it's nice and simple you're going to come over to the um, mods now you're going to click on Exile and Exile Server and that is that for that bit right we're going to hit launch it's going to come up with the armor and all being well it all should work it's going to come up with this box here it's going to tell you your information in here if the server started yada yada right it's going to come up with this for your first time as well allow and it's basically on at the moment so I'll come back with you in a second after I've loaded my game up okay so loading into armor and we're into armor and this should work it'll always come up with two I don't know why it comes up with two but it does uh, double click on your server and it should load straight in and that should be your server just give it a minute if you do get stuck drop me a message and I will try and help um, but as you can see this is all loading in and if you followed the instructions then it should work for you as well. If you run it on an SSD or something like that, then it should run quicker. But here we go. Right, we are in Altus. Uh, this is obviously a map. You're going to have your spawn locations, you've got a radiation zone. Um, you can make your map look a hundred times better than this. We will spawn in at Sophia. We can kilo drop in. And it's all good. We'll open up our parachute in a minute. There we go. Straight down into the game. Uh, the next thing we will be doing is making um, uh, bars down the bottom to let you know what um, your health is and everything else. But as you can see, everything is working for this. Um, also, going to be doing obviously the status bar, um, DMS missions. Um, occupation, uh, which is helicopters and stuff that fly around and pick you up, and also like other little missions. Um, yeah, I'll just do a few more videos of how to set things up really, and make your server look kind of cool. But um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.